And staying with that developing story here in Capital Seoul, it's been on and off with heavy rain in the early hours of this Monday morning. And with the rising water levels in the central of Han River, many roadways and low-lying bridges in and around the capital have been closed to pedestrians and drivers as a precautionary measure. And that is where our Chang Taehyung joins us live from this morning for a clear picture of what we're looking at today. So Taehyung, the Tamsu Bridge still remains closed at this hour. Yes, Samin, I'm staying here at Tamsu Bridge since 5 a.m. today, and the situation is quite severe in here. As you can see behind me, there is a way for people and cars, but it's currently flooded due to heavy rain. Use of this bridge has been restricted as of 6 p.m. Sunday, meaning no vehicles are permitted to use it. Last night, this bridge was almost underwater, with the water reaching re level reaching around 7 meters. If the level is 5.5 meters or higher, people aren't allowed to walk across the bridge. And if it's over 6.2 meters, no cars are allowed. The water level right now is around 6.5 meters. People will also have to be aware of any traffic updates, as there's the possibility of roadblocks. In another part of Seoul, as of 5.30 a.m., the Dongbu Expressway has been closed, and the interchange roads in Panpo, Jamwon, Simjamwon, and Oksu are closed as well. Looking at the central region, Chungcheongbuk-do province also saw a huge amount of rain overnight, resulting in landslides and gas explosion, as well as submerging houses and camping sites. And Gangwon-do province also evacuated scores of residents over fears that the high waters may break the embankments. There's more rain to come, so be sure to watch for the latest updates. I'm Chang Taehyun, reporting live from the Jamsu Bridge. Back to you, Semin.